wow uh <laughs> where do i begin um i first found out from teal steven on facebook that eric young is the new tna world heavyweight champion he beat magnus i mean wow <laughs> I'll be honest with you, I never pictured him being a world champion, you know what I mean? But it goes to show you that anything is possible, you know what I mean? Now, I want to give my few comments on this, and all of it is positive. So don't think I'm shooting down on Eric Young or TNA's decision to put the title on him because I'm not going to shoot on him. I actually think this is actually great, and I think he deserves it. Um, I think this is how world titles should be treated when it comes to title changes because I knew he was feuding with Magnus I never thought that there was going to be a title title match for this or that he will actually be the TNA World Heavyweight Champion this was actually random and I think that's how title changes should be it should be just at random you know I mean not like doing this huge big storyline where people was going to predict oh yeah he's going to win the championship but this was like out of left field in my opinion, this out left field like no one would expect it. And I think that's the way how you should treat a world title or any title for that matter. Just have it at random. Don't make it as like be making it obvious that, oh, this person is definitely going to win the title. Just make it unpredictable. You know what I mean? And I think TNA just did just that. we put in Eric Young as the new world heavyweight champion. Perfect. I thought that was perfect. Um, my other comment is, like I said, I didn't expect him to win a World Heavyweight Championship at all. You know what I mean? I guess because judging the gimmicks he used to do in the past, you know, being part of Team Canada, being the very over-anxious uh, wrestler who thinks he was going to get fired, um, doing all those weird, weird <laughs> gimmicks he did with ODB and all that stuff. Um, but I think... In this situation where him being the world champion was more of a an achievement. Like kind of like TNA saying that we thank you for all the contributions you've done for this company. I mean, heck, he's been there for 10 years straight. Um and being very loyal. You deserve to be a champion. Here you go. This is kind of similar with, you know, when Mick Foley was champion for the very first time um, back and not saying that he didn't deserve it or not saying that Eric Young deserved it, but it was more kind of like saying like, you know, you wrestle like a champ, you present yourself as a champ by being a constant professional and, you know, sacrificing everything for the company. Your contributions deserve this shot. You know what I mean? And that's the way I see it. And unfortunately, you know, I don't see him in it doing a long title reign. Like I said, I just think that TNA just want to do something special for him because of the contributions done. Like I said, he deserves it. He deserves being champion. Now, the one thing I will disagree, and I have to agree with Heel Steven, that a lot of people are comparing this to Daniel Bryan winning the WWE World Heavyweight Championship at WrestleMania 30. Uh... I think this is a lot different. I mean, it may seem that TNA is trying to capitalize on the whole underdog thing, but I just don't see the similarities between Eric Young and Daniel Bryan's situation. I mean, Eric Young is doing a different, totally different storyline. It's not like he's going after the authority or something like that, even though Magnus was part of the Dixie Carter um, camp, but from what I've heard, Dixie Carter's not there. The person that's running the show right now is MVP. I might be wrong. If you want to correct me, go ahead. But um, I find this to be totally different and has shouldn't be similar to it. But like I said, I think this is more of an achievement, um, kind of like how James Storm became the World Heavyweight Champion and Chris Saban, and it didn't last long. But the fact is that those guys, even though it was a short reign, they did deserve to get a shot at being a champion. Even if it was short-lived, but I just think it was more of like, you know, your contributions for this company was great. And we want to appreciate it by you being a world champion. And and it's not unheard of. That happens. You know what I mean? So uh, what do you guys think of Eric Young being the world heavyweight champion? Do you agree with it? Do you think TNA... Um, is dropping the ball once again and not giving a chance to make new stars as a lot of people like to point out with TNA. Leave a comment down below, tell me what you guys think, and we'll see if I'm going in there. Alright? And Eric Young, congrats, man. You do, you do deserve it.